Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on The Serpent, a new movie uh, coming from Netflix. I think this is a foreign-made movie. Feels foreign. Uh, definitely takes place in a lot of different countries. And I don't know any of the actors, so I'm thinking it's a foreign movie. But it looks, uh, looks decent. It's based on a true story uh, about this guy. They call him the Serpent. And he basically drugs and murders people and robs them. Uh, I think this takes place sometime around the 70s. And, um, you know, he just kills men. And, he kills couples, basically. Him and his wife. And uh, he's a gem dealer. And uh, it's inspired by true events, so I don't know how true it is. A lot of times they ex exaggerate this stuff. Joan, don't lick the table. Look at what are you licking the table for? There's nothing on there. There's, it's gross, Joan. What the heck are you doing to me? Don't lick things. Okay, just sit here. Anyhow, I yeah, well, we we're doing the video. You wouldn't sit in your chair without barking. So just relax. Just relax. Look. How about a treat? You interrupt everything. I'm trying to talk about the serpent. Here. You want this? Alright, let me give it to you. It's gotta be good. Okay. You gonna be good? Here. Alright. So anyhow, he lures people in and you know he's him and his wife, they party and then they drug him and kill him, basically. So I'm not sure if it's both of them or just the husband is like the serial killer. But because they draw, you know, rob and drug people, they're able to get all these diamonds and jewels and stuff. See, here's a guy passing out from the drugs or whatever. They get him sick and then they, they just take him for all they're worth. And they're, they're living in like Singapore. And this, since this is in the 70s, like good luck finding people. But this guy is for whatever reason assigned to find them. I think he's from uh, the Netherlands. And uh, because the couple wrote about meeting them uh, while on a trip before they died, they sent a postcard out and that's what trips them up. So he's able to track them down. And then here he like, you know, he realizes that they're, they're stealing their passports and you know, that's how they're able to get around the country. And, Nobody knows who they are. You see all the money he's got. And, um, you know, he looks, <laughs> he looks messed up, right? Like that's a messed up killer kind of look. Uh, looks interesting. Looks very interesting. And there's bloody rock and, uh, yeah, it looks cool. It's called The Serpent. Uh, it's on Netflix April 2nd. So I'd see this movie like first act, um, you know, you got... Probably a, a kill, right? It would be the couple meeting this other couple, and suddenly one of them passes out. And next thing you know, they're they're like burying him in the desert somewhere. Um, and then it's like, oh man, this is a messed up movie. What? Who are these people? And then you find out they've been killing people, you know, for years, and that's how they make their money. And then uh, they end up killing this couple, but not before they send a postcard out that tips off the investigator who eventually has to track them down. And then the end of the first act would be him getting the case and setting off to go after him. The second act would hit be him tracking down the serpent and his wife, eventually catching up to them and then coming up with some sort of plan to like get close to him so he can get the evidence he needs. And then the third act is the serpent gets desperate, realizes the guy's on to him, and tries to kill him, maybe, and then uh, tries to escape, and the guy tracks him down or kills him or whatever. Probably won't be what happens in real life. What happens in real life, a lot of times, is these guys, they get caught, and then there's a long and boring trial, right? Now, there's a long case, you know, he kills, like, a bunch of people, and then finally just, you know, like a lot of serial killers, goes too far, presses his luck, and then uh, gets caught. So uh, then there's a long, boring trial, and that's not very exciting. Like, probably in the movie, it's like, ah, you've been caught. Oh, no, I've got to run. No, don't go near that cliff. And then there's a shootout. Ah! That kind of thing. 
thing, right? Because that's spicier. But um, I like the look. I like the music. Uh, it was like a, uh, I guess it was a Dutch version of um, uh, the animals. Uh, there is a house in New Orleans. That song, the House of the Rising Sun. And uh, I like the time period. It's not too far out of the, out of place for me. So I can kind of relate to it. Plus, people aren't wearing masks. I mean, can you imagine seeing movies in the modern day where everybody's wearing a mask and you're trying to do a movie like this? <laughs> Just so takes you out of it. Oh, the damn mask. Who the hell wants to go to a movie and see people wear masks? Not now. Now we're in, it's still into this stupid thing. Um, so when I see this, I still get Netflix for free for some reason. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, so maybe um, doesn't look woke. You know, that's one of the ways you, Hollywood gets around the wokeness is buying foreign films and setting a movie in the past. Ha! We don't have to be woke. Hooray! We can be sexist and cool. Uh, so there it is, the serpent. Look for it on April 7th.